two great shooters in action here, Joe Canning and Henry Shefflin. Henry with this monster of a free. Deep inside his own half of the field. He's now got eight points in this match. King Henry, their hero. I'd love to fight father time. We'd all love to fight, fa fight father time. But, you know, I'm 36, not 26 anymore. So when the All Ireland campaign finished up, and I'm in very good shape, physical shape. And I suppose there was two things, I suppose, for me, I didn't want to finish by being injured and saying you had to finish up. I had enough of those injuries where that question mark came in, into my mind, so I'm absolutely thrilled that that wasn't the thing. And as well as that, I wasn't finished at where you looked at me in a hurling field and say he's absolutely finished. Of course I'm not at the levels I was a few years ago, but that's just physical nature, father time. But I'm still at a very good level that I definitely could contribute. But I just felt myself when I reflected, um, now is the right time for myself. And uh, what a greater opportunity, you know, all the GA fans watching the website know, you know, to win with your county is special, to win with your club is special, and I've achieved both of those in the one year. So it's another great way to finish up playing with Kenny. I didn't make any sacrifices. I just was so much enjoying what I was doing. And my family members, my brothers and sisters, and obviously Deirdre, they made the sacrifices, um, and I'm indebted for them for, for with the gratitude that they have done to to get let me achieve because of what they've done and the sacrifices they've made. But uh, they really enjoyed it as well. You know, they're obviously sad that the day has come as well because they'd love for me to continue because they got so many opportunities out of it as well. So uh, in a whole, it's 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 everyone together. And you know, the most uh, emotional I was over the few days was actually what's happened. The lads, we have a group with the Kenny group to say, I'm leaving the group now, lads. I just want to thank you very much for all they've done. And, uh, that for me, you know, those memories of you know, the crack in Matt the Millers or wherever it may be, celebrating great victories or, you know, talking about losses we've had. Um, they're the memories of the dress room, of the crack we used to have coming here in Langtons for, for after dinner, for training, etc. So uh, that's what I miss the most, is the banter of the dress room. I think every play player says that, and I, I am going to miss that, there's no doubt about it. There is one standout moment, uh, winning your first all Ireland is special, being captain is special, going up the steps of the Hogan stand is a boyhood dream. Um, but to play it at a high level performance, to play at the peak of my powers on the biggest day was probably the biggest occasion for me. Uh, we didn't actually win the match, it was against Galway in the draw in All Ireland 2012. Henry Shefflin hoping to win nine All Ireland medals today on the field, his ninth today. Could have been as far as Henry Shefflin gets away from Hines and Shefflin strikes it. And Shefflin's the one who puts the teams on terms. I only scored a point from play, but it wasn't about that. I suppose everything I probably stood for, everything I would like to stand for, probably transcended itself that day in the field. So that for me, every sports person wants to play at the top of their game on the biggest occasion. I was very fortunate and lucky to have that feeling. It didn't happen every game, and I know it didn't, but that was a day it was really special to myself. And I suppose that's one day that I would love to be back in that zone. It doesn't happen, it happens probably once in a lifetime, but that, that was a special, special day. I have the highest respect for every player I played against because never once did I get a dirty stroke. Obviously, I had, you know, run-ins with players and you go to yourself, but off the field of play, and I must say, the hurling community, the GA community as a whole, when you go to All-Stars nights, when you meet players, or even like some of the letters I got from all over the country in, in so-called weaker counties of players, uh, you know, camogie players or hurling players, and the, the level of support they have for me is just amazing. And uh, that is the opportunities I've had I've met people who unfortunately are very sick and who just love hurling and it's given me an opportunity to, to realise how lucky I am and uh, you know I think the hum hurling in the GA community has been very very good to myself and uh, it's something that we're, we're all very proud of and I'm very proud of to be associated with that. There's Henry Shefflin trouble with his knee. Immediate concern for Henry Shefflin. Right now Kilkenny are down to 14 players and he's been forced to walk across the field, he's going off. 2010, with the time of the cruise, you'd like, you know, to get a standing ovation from the Tipperary supporters, I think, you know, they absolutely hated me and didn't want me to win, but for them to, you know, stand up, I think that's, that for me stood at what the GA community is about, and uh, that is a special moment as well, along with a lot more. Talking to some of my colleagues who have retired already, um, the one thing they say is, it's brilliant to go back to the club, and I think everyone says it, you love to go back to your club to give something when you're still, fit and well and uh, I look forward to going 
training with the lads this year when there's seven or eight in the, in the dressing room when I hear about this Henry you should be here with us when we're struggling with numbers etc so I'm looking forward to that aspect of it as well but I think for me it's all about playing and you know I love playing hurling and I always want to continue I won't be playing up in Crow Park on the big days of the summer but I'll be down in Ballyhale and enjoying playing as well I don't know if I'll manage uh, I would like to go back and definitely manage my, my, uh, my club I've never managed a team or never been a select on my team all during my life, so I think it's time now I put in some of that hardship that it is. Um, so I look forward to that and I honestly don't know. I, you know I'm very fortunate to have four healthy children at home and uh, you know, I, I definitely would be around, but I don't think Deirdre wants me around the whole time. I think everyone says that, that they, they don't want you around the whole time, so I've no doubt I'll be, doubt about it I'll be spending a lot of time in the, in the training fields uh, still. I think I'll always try and look after myself because I'm in that kind of bubble. Uh, but I think, you know, if I'm talking to the lads, you know, going to a chipper and not feeling guilty or eating the fry and not feeling guilty, I don't think it's going to happen the whole time, but they want off when it does. And, uh, I'm looking forward to a sun holiday during the summer months. Uh, I've never experienced that in my life, so uh, I'm really looking forward to that this year.